This is Ben Yao from Portify and today we are unboxing the Mojo 2 from Cord Electronics. The Mojo 2 is the highly anticipated second generation of the hugely successful Mojo that created the high-end portable DAC genre back in October 1995. It has been almost 7 years since the release of the originating Mojo. Much improvements has been made to the Mojo in the Mojo 2. Let us now take a look at the comparison table which I have put together to illustrate this. Let me begin with the dynamic range. In this aspect, there is no difference between the Mojo and Mojo 2 as both models measures a dynamic range of 125 dB. Looking at the output power, it's interesting to note that in 1995, when they measured the Mojo, they chose to use impedance values of 600 ohms and 8 ohms, versus that of 300 ohms and 30 ohms for the Mojo 2. The use of 300 ohms and 30 ohms draw relevance to the headphones and in-ear monitors available in the market today. However, if we were to do a proper comparison, we need to then adjust the figures so that um, it will be a fair comparison and having done so, the Mojo 2 comes up superior to its predecessor. We have um, consistency issue as well on the total uh, harmonic distortion THD where you already can observe that there is a differing value in terms of voltage however critically the absence of the impedance value doesn't allow us then to do any adjustments um, to allow comparison to happen input wise Mojo has always been all digital so it has a optical 3.5 mm coaxial and a micro USB. The Mojo 2 builds onto that with the addition of a USB C port, allowing it to connect with the most recent digital devices, which are mainly based on USB C. Output wise, Mojo outputs via a 3.5 mm single ended, and like its predecessor, the Mojo 2 also has two 3.5 mm single ended ports. However, a word of caution if you want to share your music with someone special or a friend, it is advisable to match the impedance and the sensitivity of the earphones to avoid any potential volume issues. Size wise, the Mojo 2 is slightly bigger than its predecessor measuring at 83 by 62 by 22.9 mm and weighs in 5 grams heavier at 185 grams. Equipped with a lossless UHD DSP, the Mojo 2 is a DSP based on FPGA technologies developed by Rockbox. Now DC coupled with a digital DC servio the Mojo 2 benefits from an improved WTA, which is a proprietary filter um, offering 40,960 taps using 40 DSP cores, an increment from 26,368 taps found on the originating Mojo. Also new on the Mojo 2 is a fourth button which evokes a menu system which we will go through in detail in the actual review of the product. Without further ado, let's begin the unboxing proper. Let's begin by taking a look at the exterior of the box. On the top left hand corner, you have the Cord Electronics logo followed by the product model and the illustration of the product. What it is, is a portable DAC slash headphone M. And of course, it is compatible with probably the 
um, dedicated streamer for the Mojo. Opening up the flap, you will see that um, there's very nice wordings here. This is pure audio. And we are greeted with, of course, documentations. Let's take this out and put it aside and unveil what we definitely know to be the Miojo 2. Let's take the device out and see what's below. We have a USB-A to micro USB cable. Let me lay things out so that we can go through them in detail. I've taken out everything from the package and laid them out. Let's begin by looking at the documentation starting from the quick start guide. In my opinion, this is one of the better ones where it is very concise and step by step. You need to say that you are probably able to get music if you were to follow the steps properly. However, if you're still having problems, you can go through and assess the full user manual instructional video located on the Core Electronics website. Nothing comes out of the UK and Europe without safety instructions, so this is there. And of course, COD always have a thank you for your purchase card. And inside this card is the trial codes for Cubas and Loon. Here we have the charging cable for the Mojo 2. And uh, it's a USB-A to micro USB. Now let's take a closer look at the Mojo 2. On the first look, it resembles the predecessor. Um, the main difference is the addition of a button. And this button is a menu button, which earlier I have shared that we will go through in detail during the review. This is the 3.5mm single ended outputs the two that you can use simultaneously and of course this is where the branding is and here we have the coaxial the micro usb for connectivity micro usb for charging and the optical so one two three four the usb c is a new addition to the mutual two so the reason why um, the micro USB is retained is for the simple reason of compatibility with poly. Okay, so here, if I were to put it together with the poly, you'll see that it is still rather seamless. Although there is a little bit of uh, gap and whatever, but it does look the case. We have come to the end of the unboxing. We hope that it has been insightful. And if you like this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please support us by doing so. Set the notification on so that you'll be informed whenever we post a new video. As always, we'll be reading the Mojo for a full review on Portify.com. Do look out for it. Till the next time, this is Ping Yao signing off.